Well, welcome everyone to our noon devotion. It's wonderful that we can gather today and in this fashion. We hold in our prayers this week Paul and Gail McKim, Beryl Ruth, Bob Gregory, Eugene Moyer, Bob Dutt, Julie, Joyce Sutliff, Nevin Smith, Robin Hayes, Allison, John Goodison, Leslie, Jeff and Darlene, Nancy, Denny Engel, Bill Ludwig, Anna Smith, Arlene Iceman, family and friends of Pastor Bill, Neil McElway, Bonnie and Kim, and Tristan. Worship continues this Sunday at 9 a.m. on Facebook Live. We load it onto YouTube later, and also the homily, the sermon is on the YouTube number. Gardeners are needed. We are currently in the process of scheduling the flower bed workers for the church. If you've already filled out that interest on your time and ability sheet, we have your interest. If this is something that is of interest to you and you didn't fill out that form, give us a call at the church office. We'd like to roll you into that. You don't need to be a green thumb. You just need to like to dig around in the dirt. We'd love to have your help. Family Promise needs our help. They've asked for some help. The ministry's changed. We don't house them here. They're housed in rental units, but there's still a need to supply personal items. So if you are feeling called to do that, financial contributions are the best way to do that. You could make a check out to Trinity, write family promise in the memo line, and get it here to the church office. And if you have any questions on that, contact Joe Ressler. Opportunities for connection continue Monday through Friday. Our new devotions right here, sometimes live, sometimes not. If you're interested in uh, participating and providing your own uh, devotion, get those to Pastor Jen. She can give you guidelines on how to help you do that. Tuesday's Bible study, 7 p.m. on Zoom. If you need the link to that, email Pastor Jen. Wednesday's Holy an Evening Prayer at 7.30, Facebook Live. And Thursday's Making Music at 6.15. Who's on tonight? Miss Linda. Miss Linda is on tonight, 6.15. Lenten activities coming up Saturday, March 27th at 11 a.m. is our egg hunt. It will look a little different, but there will be eggs, prizes, and yes, the Easter bunny. If you're going to attend, let Chris Kennedy know how many kids and their ages so she can plan. Still looking for donations for the egg hunt of individually wrapped candy. Uh, if you feel called to do that, you can still drop those off at the church until next Monday, March 22nd. Donations are being sought by Wernersville State Hospital of individual snack packs of chips and crackers and individually wrapped candy. Those donations can be brought into the church office. Uh, the deadline for that is March 28th. The Well at Home is selling evergreen seedlings for $2 a piece. They may be purchased in honor or memory of someone. List of tributes will be in the May newsletter. The sheet to order that Keep going, but I'm going to stop you in a second to make sure we're still live. Okay. <laughs> How about I stop for a second? So I hit the wrong button, and now I'm watching you delayed. And now you're stopped. So keep going. I'll just keep I, we're going. Good. We're good. So if you want to order these here. seedlings, by the way, <laughs> uh, technical difficulties here. If you want to order these seedlings, there's an order form in the newsletter, March newsletter. Uh, if you can't access that, email Chris Kennedy, and she will email you the form. So we are still working. Okay. Just <laughs> We haven't done this before ever. So this is so looking ahead to Holy Week. And you want to make your plans. Palm Sunday will be a Facebook Live worship service at 9 a.m. Um, Monday, Thursday, April 1, we will have a worship service on Facebook Live at 7 p.m. Good Friday, April 2nd, worship on Facebook Live 7 p.m. And then Easter Sunday, we're going to be doing a variety of things. There will be in-person parking lot worship, weather permitting, at 6 a.m. With the, with the campfire, I understand. And then at 9 a.m., both services with Holy Communion. If there's snow or rain that cancels our outdoor worship, there will still be offers of, uh, we will still offer drive-up communion between 9 and 10 a.m. There will also be a pre-recorded Easter service that will be posted to Facebook and YouTube by 7 a.m. Easter morning. Did I miss anything, Pastor Jen? You got it. Thanks. You got it. That's enough for today. Carry on. <laughs> will you please join me in prayer? Gracious God, help us to be more like Jesus. Stifle our anger, hate, emotional outburst, bad and unloving behavior toward others. 
Help us to refuse to be offended and refuse to walk in the resentment in our hearts, minds, and emotions. Transform our hearts so that we may represent the love of Jesus to all we meet, especially those who wrong us or upset us. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. We have two readings today. The first one is from Matthew, the 15th chapter. Then Jesus called the crowd to him and said to them, Listen and understand. It is not what goes into the mouth that defiles a person, but it is what comes out of the mouth that defiles. Then the disciples approached and said to him, Do you know that the Pharisees took offense when they heard what you said? He answered, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. Let them alone. They are blind guides of the blind. And if the one blind person guides another, both will fall into a pit. But Peter said to him, explain this parable to us. Then he said, are you also still without understanding? Do you not see that whatever goes into the mouth enters this mouth and goes out into the sewer? But what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart, and this is what defiles. For out of the heart come evil intentions, murder, adultery, fornication, theft, false witness, slander. These are what defile a person, but to eat with unwashed hands does not defile. Here ends the reading. Our second reading is from 2 Peter, the first chapter. For this very reason, you must make every effort to support your faith with goodness and goodness with knowledge and knowledge with self-control and self-control with endurance and endurance with godliness and godliness with mutual affection and mutual affection with love. For if these things are yours and are increasing among you, then you keep from being ineffective and unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Here ends the reading. A man was being tailgated by a woman who's in a hurry. He comes to an intersection, and when the light turns yellow, he slams on the brakes. The woman behind him goes ballistic. She honks her horn at him. She yells at frustration in no uncertain terms. She rants and gestures that he's number one, if you get my drift. And while she's in mid-rant, someone taps on her window. She looks up and sees a police officer. He invites her out of the car and takes her to the station where she is searched and fingerprinted and put in a cell. After a couple of hours, she is released and the arresting officer gives back her personal effects saying, I'm very sorry for the mistake, ma'am. I pulled up behind your car while you were blowing your horn using bad gestures and bad language. I noticed the what would Jesus do bumper sticker, the Jesus saves license plate holder, the follow me to Sunday school windows sign, the Christian fish emblem on your trunk, and I naturally assumed that you had stolen the car. <laughs> do you behave like that woman sometime? Gesturing to people who cut you off or stop too quickly or get in your way that Maybe they're number one. I know I have. And you know this story, it reminds me of pinatas. I know. Stick with me. You ever been to a birthday party that had a pinata? You know, you blindfold. It's a paper mache thing. You blindfold. They spin you around and you get a stick and you, you whack it until the candy spills out. Well, aren't we a little bit like pinatas? And when life kind of, things that happen to us, burst is open, stuff falls out. It spills out. What spills out for you? Is it sweet, good candy? Is it maybe tart or even poisonous? It is for me sometimes. And you know, the world gets pretty tired of people who have Christian bumper stickers on their cars and fish signs and they wear all that Christian jewelry. They put the magazines on their bookshelf. They have those Christian videos for their kids. You know, they go through all those motions. But they don't actually have the life of Jesus in their bones 
or the love of Jesus in their hearts. You know, as Jesus says, what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart. And this is what defiles. I wonder, if someone accused you or accused me of being a follower of Christ, would there be enough evidence to convict us? Would your actions demonstrate the transformed heart of a Christian? And if not, maybe some time and self-reflection is in order. It certainly is for me. Because on any given day, there's probably not enough evidence in the way that I act and behave. And so we do fall short, and we know it. And that's what grace is for. So maybe we all ought to refocus and take some time to recenter our lives in discipleship to the one who shows us love and how to live in the way of love. And that is Jesus the Christ. And please join me in praying the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now receive God's blessing. May the God of abundant grace dwell in you richly, name you beloved, and shine on your path. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen.